Well, anak in, in, in uh, English means child. Uh, I found out la later uh, uh, when I started uh, talking with, with people who bought my record, they found the language really beautiful in the ear. They, even if they don't understand the sound of Tagalog, it's, it's like uh, magic in their ear. But later on, when they get used to the Tagalog, of course, they want to know what I'm talking about. Nung isilang ka sa mundong ito, laking tuwa ng magulang mo, at ang kamay nilang yung ilaw. At ang nanay at tatay mo'y di malaman ang gagawin. This is the time that I wish I have a driver. <laughs> I hate I hate driving at this time. In Manila. Oh, that's the place. This is the place. This is the street where I, where I, used, where I sang for 10 pesos a night. Right there, we just missed we had about three buildings back. And this is where my father used to run after me. <laughs> <laughs> we, we run all the way here, man. <laughs> he cannot catch me because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fast faster runner than he is. You know? And you run faster when you're so scared. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Uh, I, I did not. I did not go to school, and he found out about it. You know? <laughs> Instead of going to school, I was practicing my mu uh, with my band. So he never wanted me to become a musician anyway. So. <laughs> This is where I lived for 27 years. And my main main my main office is still here. So this is where the school is. Here. What's your step? Oh. <laughs> this is my compound, the whole compound. Yeah. It's, it's for the children, so we call it Anak Foundation, nursery and kinder. kinder the original school was outside, it was burned. And when I saw the children on the street studying, I said, I said, I have a big uh, compound. I said, I, I want to have the children inside. So I said, what do you need? So they said, we, need, we needed uh, tables and chairs. At present, we have 55 children. The school have been here for 25 years, you have to remember. So 25 years ago, some of them, they have their own children now yeah. studying here. And their, and, their, and their mother and father before that uh, studied here also. <laughs> The song Anak is about me and my relationship with my father. Because uh, I never listened to them before. I was, uh, I was the black sheep of the family. I never, I, I never, uh, uh, if my father would say black, I would say red. So we never get along. And, and the other thing is that uh, he never wanted me to become a musician anyway. That's, that's why when, when, when I was, when I was uh, uh, 23 in Ulongapo, I decided that I, I, I made my mother and father uh, uh, really sad. So, And in, in order for me to say sorry, I wrote the song Anak. So it's a song of remorse? Yes, it's a song of uh, remorse from, uh, from uh, a prodigal son. <laughs> And I went home and I showed my father, I said, uh, uh, Tata, I said, Papa, this is the song that I wrote. And I, I, sh I show him the lyrics of Anak. And, and after he read it, I saw some uh, tears want to come out in his eyes and said, 
hey, you've changed. I said, he said, you've changed, you know what you're talking now. And, and I said, good luck to your music career, but I still wish you should have finished your studies. <laughs>